Welcome to my closet room video T squad. This is one of the bedrooms in my house. This is the before for the last year. I basically have been using this room as a storage place for all of the things that I hadn't put up yet. I've only been in my house now for a year and the curtains in here are the same curtains that the owners left. Um, as you can see, I got mirrors. I got my old entertainment center in here, Christmas decorations and pillows and outdoor furniture. It was just chaotic in this room, okay? But after finishing the main rooms in my house, I saved this room for last because I knew that this room was going to be special for me. This was like gonna be my sanctuary and a place to house all of my fabulous things that I've been able to acquire over the years. And I really wanted to take my time with it. I didn't want it to be a typical closet room like you've seen on other people's channels or celebrity closet rooms. I wanted mine to have an edge and a theme to it. And I wanted this room to kind of flow with the rest of my house, unlike my office. So watch as I transform this room into the closet room of my dreams. Okay, fam, so I'm about to start the painting process. I'm gonna be painting this display cabinet matte black. I bought it gray, of course, but the gray is just too drab. It's sad. <laughs> it doesn't pop the way I want it to. So I'm gonna paint it matte black to match all of the other um, organization racks and things that I have purchased. So, so far I have my plastic guard on the floor to, you know, pick up any splatter of paint that might fall. I got my pan and brushes that I already bought a year ago when I first moved over here. I got these from Amazon. Now I'm about to open up the paint and get it crack a -lackin. Let's start. Wood furniture paint. This is the paint that I bought. Come back over here, girl. Okay, you guys, so this is the pa Can you act right, please, ma'am? All right, so this is the paint I bought. It's wood furniture paint. Got this off of Amazon. It's made by Dural or something like that. Okay, okay, okay. Now you just being disrespectful, girl. It's small as hell. This is so small. Why does it? <clears throat> this is so small. So small. This is, I'll be shocked if I can get. Well, I might. I've done, pulled off some pretty amazing things in the past. We might be able to make it do what it do, okay? We shall see what I can make happen. So this brand comes with the paint and this bag of uh, supplies. It has a little roller brush in here. It has a little paint, a paint brush. Um, I don't know what this is. Maybe this is something to mix it. I don't know. Don't give me like that. Gloves in here. It has the. Um, oh no! I was gonna say no. I don't know what that is. Anywho, um, yeah. So let me put the sponge thingamajigger on here. Okay, it's on there pretty good. Okie dokie, let's get it crack a -lack in. Let's start. Okay, let's open this up. How do you... Oh, you gotta peel this off like this. Okay, 
and then you pop the top. I don't wanna get this on me. Oh, okay, it comes with a little plastic thing on top so it just don't splatter on you, which is good. All right, I'll be back. Alright T-Squad, so this is what I got done tonight. I got this side of the panel done. I'm so tired. My neck is hurting and my shoulders are hurting. I know my arms are going to be sore tomorrow, but it's coming out exactly how I wanted it with the matte black. Um, I do have to go over it again tomorrow with another coat as you can see. And I got to touch up those spots right there where the paint was not staying for some reason. But... <clears throat> I got all that done and I still have about probably this much left of paint. So I ordered another one just so I'll be able to finish this side. Accidentally broke that. <laughs> Tried to move it off the wall, but I'll fix that. But yeah, it's coming out really good. Really, 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 really good. I'm proud of myself. I'm so tired though, about to go take a bath and wash my cooter and lay down. So I can get up and work tomorrow. But so far so good. It looks so much better black. So much better. Oh my God, it's such a big difference. But this is day one, down. Okay, T-Squad, I'm in here putting together this clothes rack display that I got from Amazon. This is how it looks. I'm in my office right now. And last time I filmed, you guys saw me painting my old um, closet rack. So it's gone now and it's thrown away in the trash because the paint didn't take. It kept on chipping. And then when I tried to move the whole console, you guys, it broke. Yeah, it broke. So, I went another route. I'm sitting here right now putting this together. I should be done probably in the next like 30, 40 minutes. And then I'm gonna go into the closet room and situate this the way I want it. So, I'll be back when I get done doing this. Okay, you guys. So, I'm almost finished putting this together as you can see here it is this is how it is shaping up to look let me turn this way this is how it looks so far so i'm putting on the last shelf right now <clears throat> here it is so let's put this on. Watching Jersey Shore family vacation. It took me a little longer than I expected because I put one of the racks on in the um, wrong spot, but I figured it out. But this was really honestly easy to put together. If I would have did that, I could have been done with this for like 30 so minutes. But because, like I said, I messed up, it took me a little longer. But it's really, really 
超効力っていうのは And this is literally the last and final step. Don't give me no problems now. Come on. Okay. I think it's working now. So. After I put this together, I only got one more thing to put together and that's um, my dresser that I bought to go in the center of the floor. It's gonna like pose as my island. So I just gotta put that together and um, I gotta get the electrician to come and put my chandelier uh, well, my light fixture is not a chandelier. My light fixture that I purchased from Amazon. And then I just got to put my stuff on the wall. The decor and stuff that I bought, wall decor. I literally just ordered it last night from Amazon. So some of it came today, some of it will be here tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can done tonight and film. Cause I literally slept all day. I slept until like six o'clock in the afternoon today cause I needed rest, child. So I got a massage tomorrow afternoon and then I'm just gonna chill out. I got my friend Ryan coming into town this weekend. So me and Mo gonna link up with him and kick it. I'm gonna try to vlog and take y'all along with me. I'm not good at vlogging, but I'm gonna try at least. Why is this not screwing? What the hell? Okay, there you go. And uh, then get back to finishing the room next week. Okay, so I'm done now. now I just gotta take these stickers off, tighten everything, and this portion will be done. And so I'll be back once I put this over there in the room and y'all can see the progress that I've made thus far. So I'll be back. Okay, T-Squad, now I am putting together my dresser. Today is March 4th. So far I've been doing this now for two weeks because I have a whole bunch of other stuff that I have to do in between. But this is how this dresser, which is going to serve as like an island in the center of this room. This is how it looks. I got it off of Amazon. It has this glass top with the display and all of that stuff. It's gonna look so good. But this is how everything else is looking right now. The shoe racks. I'm gonna put some purses and stuff on those. And then this is how this came out. So this is the layout so far of how everything is gonna look. I got another one that's going over there, but I had to move it out for right now. But yeah, so right now I'm putting the sides together. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'll be checking in as I go, but I have all of my trusty tools and things. Hey T squad. So I'm back at it again. I had a doctor's appointment today, unfortunately. I had to get a pneumonia shot because I'm type two diabetic. So I came home from the doctor's appointment and I was super sleepy. I took me a nap, ate me some McDonald's child. And uh, now I'm back in this room, putting this dresser together. So let me show you guys where I'm at now with it. So this is where I'm at right now with it. It's making progress. I'm gonna finish this tonight. I'm not even gonna film today because I just wanna focus on this and get this done since it's the last biggest thing that I have to do. Watching Brittany Jones YouTube channel. Got my Tootsie Roll socks on. And we getting it done, y'all. We getting it done. Okay, this is the progress that I've made. I got all of this done. Watching some Vanderpump rules. I'm getting the inserts together, making progress, you guys. After almost about three weeks of working on my closet room, 
I finally finished. I was so tired once I was done, but it was worth the late nights, the back aches and everything. So as you can see, this was the before video. And now it's time for the big room reveal. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go. What up, T Squad? I am finally done with my closet room. After about a month and a half of working on it, I can finally show you guys the finished product, and I could not be happier with the way that it turned out. It actually turned out better than I even expected. I'm so in love with it, and guess what? I did everything in this room. Everything that I have purchased will be listed down below in the description box. You guys will not want to miss these fabulous deals. So you too can transform a room in your house to a closet room because this is like every girl woman's dream room. So without further ado, let's take a look at my closet room reveal. Are y'all seeing this? Do you see how amazing this looks? Like, I did my thug thizzle in this room, okay? I am just so proud of the way that this room came out. You guys have no idea how proud of myself I, I am. Like, I did everything in this room. I put all of the pieces together by myself. Only thing, my father came and did my light fixture for me, but I put all of the furniture pieces together myself in this room and I'm so proud of myself. Let's start with the walls. These dots on the wall are not painted. These are actually wall decals that I found on amazon.com. I believe in a pack you had about 200 and maybe 60 of them in one pack and they retail for like $9. I got two packs. I actually have dots left over. Initially, I planned on having the dots filling up all of the wall space, but then as I started, I came up with the idea to have a gradual cascade of dots. So as you can see right here, we start with the dots going above the um, patio doors. And then as it goes, it's like a galaxy almost. And it starts to fill up and progress and gets wider as it goes down the wall. And then it gets bigger and explodes on this wall. And I'm so happy that I came up with that idea. I think that it adds just a different type of whimsy to this room. The dots just are so chic and dope to me. Like it just makes you feel like you're like kind of like out of space. It's artsy, it's fun. They're easy to come off. All you literally do is peel them off. They stick so well and for a $19, $18 investment, you can't beat this. You don't have to paint or anything. It does the work for you. It didn't take any time for me to put these up on the wall. I literally was listening to Beyonce when I was doing it in here, singing at the top of my lungs, getting my life. And I love the way these um, polka dots came out. They're just so cute. Then we have this closet rack that I was able to also find on Amazon. And it was so easy to put together. As you guys saw earlier in the video, I literally put it together one night while I was watching television. It probably took me maybe an hour to do so, but it's really sturdy. It's metal. It's easy to assemble and it's reasonably priced. On this rack, I wanted to put some of my favorite new pieces that I have that I have not worn, my purses and things on here on display. I have my Balenciaga Gucci collaboration purse, some Fashion Nova outfits. We have my Jock Moose bag, my Brandon Blackwoods, my Fendi first bag, another Brandon Blackwood 
um, my Valentino purses and more Fashion Nova pieces. I actually bought this for the Renaissance tour, but I ended up wearing the lime green version instead. And I cannot wait to wear these cargos and this little top. Oh my God, it's gonna be such a vibe when I wear it. But yes, this is just so dope. It has everything on display and I can switch it out during seasons and put like winter clothes, fall clothes or whatever on here. And then that way, you know, I buy so much stuff, I be forgetting about half of the stuff that I buy. So like my new pieces, I sit them out so I can remember, okay, you got that to wear. So let's wear it. <laughs> so this is just so cute. It doesn't take up a lot of space, but it adds a punch to the room. Then over here, this stand, I also got this from Amazon. This is plastic. It literally, a kid can put this together. You're literally just inserting the rods and everything. It was so quick and easy to do. I bought two of those. Those were really cheap and affordable and it added some height and more storage space to display my bags. So I got my vintage Chanel, my Prada, my Louis Vuitton these Zara shoes that I bought during the summer that I still have yet to wear. Um, these Zara heels that I got years ago that I'm obsessed with, they kind of remind me of like Marie Antoinette. My Marc Jacobs jewelry boxes, I actually have the pieces on today. My bubble pieces from Marc Jacobs. My Versace boxes. I have like my um, sequin skirt and my silver skirts i got multiple silver skirts um my furry bag some new shirts that i just got from shein that i have sitting out so i love this and then if you notice behind here i have some motion sensor lights i have motion sensor lights right here so when i walk into my room at night i don't have to turn on the lights because the lights will pop on as i walk by and i also have a light down there as well so over here I have this shoe rack. Also I got this from Amazon and I tried to color coordinate my shoes. These are all of like my favorite shoes, new shoes that I have not worn. Uh, my other shoes are in the closet still. A pair right there is missing because I'm wearing them right now. These are my custom Nike uh, sneakers that Kyrie's got me for Christmas. Um, last year. I love the way this shoe rack came out. It's so cute. I get to see all of my stuff, know exactly where it's at. When I'm putting together outfit, I can just see everything and envision everything. And it's just so convenient, so convenient. And this was equally as easy to put together. It didn't take long either. And it's so affordable um, to purchase off of Amazon. And as you can see, I still have room left for some more shoes if I choose to put them on there. Over here, this is the other rack. On this rack, I decided to add more purses. These are some of my like store purses like Zara, bags and things. I got my crown from my Halloween costume. I was a toddler in Tiara's character for Halloween this year. More of my Versace boxes. I'm a huge Versace fan. My Jock Moose boxes. Got some rude socks right there. Some of my perfumes. This box goes to my Sorvorsky earrings, my Beyonce concert tour t-shirts and other graphic tees, some clothes and things, a purse. Yeah, that. I know you're wondering, Keisha, why is there a <laughs> loofah hanging from this window shade? That's been there. Um, the owner of the house actually had it on there and I have yet to cut it off. I guess they use it like as a weight to keep it down. So I haven't touched it. I'm just like, girl, say there, it's pink. We gonna make it do what it do, girl. You ain't bothering me, I ain't bothering you, okay? <laughs> then up there we have these cute little black and white geographic pictures that I also found on Amazon. They were really affordable and it just tied into the black and white theme of the room even more. This rack is um, 
plastic as well. So affordable. Um, but on this one, I wanted to highlight some of my more colorful things. My purses with straps that can't just sit out. Um, I hung those purses on here. I just got this little cute little furry bag from off Shein. It's in the shape of a star. I got my MCM bag, my Prada bag. Um, I got this cute cardigan set from the Paco Rabanne H&M collaboration during the winter time and I still have yet to wear it. It's kind of itchy, but it is so fabulous. And I paid a bag for this, so I gotta wear it. Um, this is actually the bustier that I wore to the Renaissance concert. This is a dress that I bought last year. I still haven't worn it, so that's why I have it sitting it out because I totally forgot that I had it. Um, over here, I got more purses, my Versace, Dior, my Coach, J-Lo collab and some other cute little costume purses and things. I got these boots down here that I have never worn and I searched high and low for these boots, found them, paid 250 for them. There's some Jeffrey Campbell boots and they are sickening and I still have not wore them. Yeah, I need to be slapped. Here's some of my other boots that I got from Zara, my Prada shoe box, my Doc Martin platform shoes. I love shoes, I love purses and accessories and things like, oh, just get my life. Then over here, these curtains. I got these from Amazon too. They are, I believe, 85 inches in length and so affordable and they're just so cute. I love the print on them. It really conceals um, sunlight during the day and they're just perfect. They really honestly are perfect. I love them. Over here we have this mirror that I got who about three years ago. I got it from off Amazon. It was really affordable. I want to say it was between 80 and $100. It's so sturdy and it's just pretty. It's really cute and girly. So um, in this closet, it also has mirrors on the closet door. As you can see, the people that used to live here, their kid put stickers on there. I got to get them off. But yeah, so I got plenty of mirrors to check myself out when I'm getting dressed in this room. Then the rug, I also got this off of Amazon. It's a black and white geometric print. It was super affordable. It's really soft. It is kind of stretchy. I like it for now, but I am gonna switch it out. But if you're looking for an area rug that's affordable, this would be a good one to get. It's so comfy and soft. I really like it. Now let's get to my favorite piece in this whole entire room. It is this vanity-like dresser. I first saw this on Amazon, you guys. And I was like, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. I tried to find something that matched it that was cheaper, cause you all know I'm a Barbie on a budget, but I couldn't find anything that made me swoon like this dresser because I wanted this room to mimic a actual like retail store. So I wanted my jewelry and things to be on display like a glass case if you go into a jewelry store. But on Amazon, it was retailing for about, I want to say about 300 and maybe 50 something dollars. And I was like, ooh, that's a lot of money. And I kept on waiting. I kept looking around. I couldn't find anything that was giving me the feels. And then one day I searched Google and I found this at Home Depot. And Home Depot had it for 270. And I was like, yes, ma'am, sign me up. I hurried up and ordered it. It came like in two days because it's a Home Depot right by my house. And I put this together all on my own. I'm so proud of myself. It turned out so good. The only thing that was a letdown is that some of the black on the glass as you can see, it kind of like chipped. But other than that, my brother gave me a trick on how to conceal that. But look at this. Isn't it so cute? That way I can see all of my jewelry as soon as I come into my closet. So how I decided to organize everything is that the top shelf, which will be on display, is all of my real jewelry or jewelry that I love. So 
another cute thing with this dresser is that it came with these shelves. This part came with these wooden shelves. And I also added a little touch by putting motion sensor lights on the inside. So when I come in at night, I don't have to turn on the light once again. The light is just going to come on for me. So I got my Christian Dior jewelry, my chain. This is Jock Moose. Normally my Marc Jacobs necklace that I'm wearing right now would be right here. I got my other chain right there. My Jock Moose earrings, my designer shades. These are Balenciaga. These are Salvatore Ferragamo, my Prada ones. And oh, I just love it. It's so cute. Then over here, I got more of my designer jewelry. So I got my Versace lock earrings, my Savorsky earrings, Louis Vuitton, my Versace. I got my Jock Moose bracelet. It's a coach bracelet. Jock Moose necklace, Versace necklace, my coach watch, Versace and coach bracelets. And then this stuff over here is like my favorite, like costume jewelry. I got my dream necklace, my Keisha necklace that my best friend got me years ago. Then I got this Christian Dior purse that came with a makeup purchase a few years ago. You can actually wear this as a purse. And then I just got some of my cute little costume glasses and things on here. Also in this drawer, you see the motion sensor light. And another thing that's dope about these drawers is that they're push open. So you literally push them open and they pop on. And in this drawer, I have all of my glasses lined up, ready to wear. This is a new choker that I just got off of Shein. I can't wait to wear it. I got the Bottega earring dupes off of Shein. Also got the Van Cleef dupe bracelet. Yeah, I love these. I just got these heart-shaped earrings off of Shein. So cute. So now I know where all my glasses are. So when I'm ready to pop on some shades, I just simply pull out the drawer and I know where everything is at. And then over here, we're gonna pop this drawer open. And this is all of my favorite costume jewelry. I have way more jewelry than this, but these are like my favorite pieces that I know that I would most definitely gravitate to. And I love them. These are like all of my little costume. These are all of my costume jewelry rings over here. These are my glasses cases. Some of like my favorite earrings. I love these during the summertime on vacation. I got these from Shein. These are some costume jewelry, um, Gucci earrings right here. These are also a favorite of mine. There's some bow earrings, aren't they so cute? And then these are another favorite pair of mine. These are some scorpion earrings that I got from off of Zara a year ago, obsessed with those. I'm also obsessed with these little bird earrings from off of Shein, so cute. But yes, this is how my drawers look. And these jewelry cases, I got these off of Amazon too as well. They'll be listed below in the description box too. And over here, when you walk into the room, I have the rest of those pictures that I got off Amazon hanging right here in the doorway. As soon as you walk in, you already know what the vibes is gonna be. And the last piece I wanna show you guys is my light fixture. I got this off of Amazon too. I just love the shapes of it. It's geometric, like everything else in this room. It was really affordable. It was easy to install. My dad came over literally yesterday and installed it for me. I got the light bulbs off of Amazon too. And I just like the gold accents on it. I love the gold accents on it because they tie in to the gold frame of my um, floor length mirror. It's just so cute. And it just adds that last finishing piece to the room. It looks like a star 
when you see it from different angles. It's so dope. You guys, that is the end of my closet tour. I hope you guys loved it as much as I do. I just want to sleep in here sometimes. <laughs> I really do just want to sleep in here because it's just my dream room. I've always dreamed of having a room like this. And now that I have the home of my dreams, I was able to transform this room into like my childhood girl fantasies. I feel like I am Cher from a Clueless when I come in here. All I'm missing is the com computerized closet that, you know, has all the clothes going on an electronic rack like that's literally all that I'm missing I just I just love it I just sometimes just come in here just to walk past the lights to see them pop on I'm such a kid <laughs> such a kid but hopefully you guys took away some tips and tricks you check out the products and everything down below in the description box let me know if you purchase anything and how you feel about it and let me know down below in the comment section what y'all think of the transformation. Do you guys love it as much as I do? Because I love it. I really do. I love it. I love it. I love it.